Good morning everyone uh, from Sean and uh, from uh, Salt of a channel uh, all about sports and uh, tasty topics. I'm filming from uh, Castellammare uh, near Sorrento. I'm here for a half marathon today. We are at uh, the thermal uh, baths of uh, Castellammare. Castellammare is uh, a place uh, famous uh, for hot water springs uh, and uh, mineral water that is uh, very healthy to drink. We have uh, about uh, a thousand uh, people, a thousand uh, runners uh, uh, who entered uh, the half marathon. This half marathon uh, is uh, going to be very fast. We're going to run uh, to Vico Equense and uh, then back. There's going to be about uh, three kilometers uphill, but uh, we're going to go uh, back down the same road. So overall, it's going to be a fast uh, 21k. When uh, running a 21k, I usually uh, split uh, the race in three parts. So the first 7k uh, are to find uh, my pace, my rhythm, and then I try to accelerate uh, slightly in the second part. And the third part, uh, from uh, kilometer 14 to 21, is uh, all about uh, having that stamina and that uh, determination uh, to give it 110%. Uh, See you after the race uh, for the last uh, arrivals uh, and uh, the outcome of the race. Here with uh, Andrea Fontanella, the organizer of the race. Uh, I just had an interview in Italian, so I'm going to translate it uh, for you back uh, in English. Uh, Andrea said uh, there were no real difficulties uh, in organizing the race uh, because uh, He's uh, a local and so he's been organizing races uh, for the past uh, 25 years. He used to organize a famous race called uh, Castellammare Sorrento, also Mari, Mari e Monti, which means uh, the sea and the mountains. The new race is called uh, Stabia Egua, as you know. It's uh, uh, 21K as well. We had uh, about uh, 1,200 people uh, in the race uh, today. So that was uh, a success uh, up from last year. And uh, his uh, objective next year is to reach uh, 1,500 people uh, in the race. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, this is a shout out for all the uh, foreigners. Uh, come over, try the race uh, next February because uh, we want it to be international. So, uh, see you soon. Uh, big uh, hooray for Andrea, who is uh, quite old now, but uh, he has never lost uh, his uh, enthusiasm uh, uh, for the sport. One uh, very important uh, feature of the race today was a uh, massage uh, offered uh, to all the athletes uh, by uh, CEMA Sports. So uh, the physiotherapists uh, did the voluntary work uh, to help us uh, after the race uh, with uh, our fatigue uh, and uh, whatever muscular cramps and problems we had. So thank you very much. I'm here with uh, my friend uh, Alessandra. She is uh, very happy today. Why are you happy? Tell us uh, the result of your race. I'm happy because for my personal best. Uh, so uh, you improved uh, your personal best by? Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. So she shed two minutes off her best time. So from one minute, from uh, one hour, 30 minutes down to one hour 28 minutes yes, perfect. congratulations thank you very much what position did you finish the race in second so second, uh, second uh, not so far off uh, from the first woman no, right not so far yeah yeah and uh, may i ask you who the third woman was uh what who the third girl in the race was ah, I don't know. ah uh, anna maria caso anna maria caso yes. so Alex uh, managed to beat uh, Anna Maria Caso. Anna Maria Caso is uh, an older generation, but uh, she is a historic uh, runner of uh, Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast. Yeah, she also a um, uh, world champion of her. She is a marathon yes. world champion. So yes. for Alex uh, to beat uh, Anna Maria is uh, quite extraordinary. Yes. But uh, with <laughs> the due respect, uh, 
we owe to a champion. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. Thank you too. Sono insieme alla vincitrice della gara, Ilenia, il tuo cognome? Il mio cognome è Nicchi Niello e sono di Benevento. I just had another short interview with Ilenia, who was the winner of the race today. So she also smashed her personal best and she's very happy. She's very happy because last year she came in second, this year she actually won. And her favorite training to win the race was uh, Fartlek, uh, so switching uh, between a uh, rhythm of uh, 4 minutes 15 uh, seconds per kilometer and 4 minutes per kilometer. I noticed uh, during the race uh, that some people uh, took a shortcut uh, and skipped about uh, 150 to 200 meters of the race uh, instead of uh, turning right uh, on the way down from the quick Wednesday, they went uh, straight on so uh, not very sporty on their part and uh, Elenia was uh, shocked to know that Maria Caso in the third place a great race for her a historic presence of uh, running here in Campania uh, Ana Maria's uh, husband uh, he's very proud of uh, his wife Alex Ambrosio in second position uh, after smashing her personal best Elenia wins the race, uh, she is obviously very happy, she smashed uh, her personal best, uh, so congratulations uh, to her. My friend Gianluca Piermatteo made it in uh, fifth position today, so great race for him. Karim uh, made it in uh, fourth place today, uh, he was uh, second uh, last week in Nocera. Massimiliano Fiorillo in uh, third position uh, with one hour 12 minutes, so uh, you can see that uh, the technical uh, value of the race is going up. Mohamed Zoyula in uh, second place today. Esham Hakal made it uh, in uh, first position with one hour 11 minutes. These are the winning teams. Uh, in uh, second place uh, there is my team, Naples North Marathon. In first place, uh, Il Laghetto. That's all uh, for today folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video with a few interviews, uh, see you next time, uh, next uh, Sunday or next Saturday for the next race. If you enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, if you want to visit uh, Castellammare, Sorrento, uh, come to run uh, this half marathon, it will be an excellent opportunity.